Hello and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Noah Eagle. Here are today's top stories. Students at Salve High School are safe at home after spending several hours in lockdown today. Police say they have someone in custody connected to a threat sent to the school this morning. No one was harmed during the lockdown. Two men will be spending a lot of time behind bars for the murder of a Syracuse student last fall. Both were found guilty of robbing the student during a drug transaction and one was sentenced for the murder. He will be spending life in prison without a chance at parole. President Trump is expanding on his original visa restrictions for refugees and immigrants. The travel ban now includes Venezuela, North Korea and Chad. The president also added various visas to the executive order. Syria and North Korea are completely banned from entering the U.S. and those from Chad cannot access business or tourist visas. The new restrictions take effect next month. German Chancellor Angela Merkel will continue to hold her position. Germany held its federal elections yesterday and Merkel's party won with a third of the vote. The right-wing alternative party, which has gained a lot of attention over the last few years, came in third with 13% of the seats in parliament. This marks Merkel's fourth win and 12th year as German Chancellor. Taking a look at the quad cam, it's officially fall, but you wouldn't know it from today's high of 89 degrees. Will the summer stick around? Jessica Torricelli has the full answer with her weather forecast at 6. That's all for your Citrus TV News Brief. Make sure to tune in to News Live at 6 with Mike Riccardi and Galat Malamed. And check us out on social media at Citrus TV, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm No Eagle. Have a great night, Syracuse.